Welcome back to my channel, Jordan Aubrey here. And today I am filming a tutorial showing you all how I got this fiery, bright, orange hair. I'll put a picture right here. This is the color I was going for. I saw this wig and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. It's by Kay Carter. She no longer had the wig on her website when I wanted to go buy it. So I was like, okay, I'll get this cheap wig, which this is a very inexpensive wig. I paid, I think, $95 for this wig from Ever Beauty. It was initially in the color 613 and I just dyed it blonde, um, not blonde, I dyed it orange. I want to show you guys two wigs that I attempted prior to this wig because... It was like a process. I tried it first with black hair that I bleached and tried to make this orange color like the picture that I showed. And then I had another wig. Let me grab them. Okay, so here is the first wig that I attempted to dye. So I bleached it and I dyed it orangey red. So that time I mixed some Wella paints. And if you look underneath, you can see that like it's the perfect color orange but then I was when I was like dyeing it this color I felt like it wasn't the color that I wanted so I went in and added some more red to it and now it's like this super reddish orange dark color and this wasn't what I was going for also with this wig I bleached the front tool as well and this is this, these are all all of these wigs that I'm talking about came from Ever Beauty Hair the front of the the lace part it literally was like gaps and gaps because the le the i guess the hair wasn't strong enough to withhold withstand the bleach that i put on it and it just literally all broke off there were so many gaps in the lace it wasn't even anything that was salvageable but the back of the hair where it was west because it is a lace front it all is still strong and it still feels very nice so i think that i may just buy another dark frontal from either ever beauty or another company i'm not really sure yet but i may do something with this wig in the future but for now it's just sitting here i cut off the front lace part and it's just kind of around my house for now i haven't decided what i'm gonna do with it so then i attempted to do it another time and first of all this wig I, when I ordered this one, I ordered two. So I got this one, which I was going to dye orange, as I did, but I didn't get to finish it. I dyed it, and it just came out way too light. Like, I wanted it to be darker. Honestly, I like it to be more brown than it is now, but we're just kind of rocking with how it is for now. Um, but with this wig, so I planned on making it darker. However, I went to my mother's house, and her dog tore this wig apart so it's in two pieces and it has so many like rips and tears in the inside of the webs like it's not even anything that's salvageable i can't really just cut the top lace off and keep using it because it's still gonna shed like crazy because of all like the holes in here so i'll probably just end up throwing this one away but i was so sad i literally cried i was super emotional and yeah I don't know I, I just I, I can't even talk about it I'm just gonna chalk it up as a loss so that wig destroyed I planned on making this a blonde wig with yellow tips but clearly it's orange now because I've been wanting this orange hair I've been wanting to try this and do a DIY to create this look that I've been wanting for the past like three months and finally it's here so I'm super excited to show you guys how I get this color just some things really quick about ever beauty hair just from my experience they have amazing customer service um, however with this first wig when there were gaps all in it they didn't really help me out so much but I guess they couldn't really do anything because I had already colored the hair even though I hadn't cut the lace off even though it was like so damaged uh, they did offer me a discount which was like two dollars off which is nothing this one I ended up getting in 14 inches or I got it in 12 or 14 I can't remember and this one was maybe a hundred and 
50 which is not that bad for a full lace or for a lace wig and then these each I got them for I think it was like $95 each when I got these and the hair is really good quality the 613 hair especially like it comes already blonde like you want it and the hair feels amazing even this hair after I dyed it it was dark and I bleached it it still feels really nice it's good quality hair the one thing that I will say about this hair is it has filler strands in it it's not a whole lot but you'll see like little strands like in the blonde hair you could initially see like little strands of like black and it was almost like maybe like plasticky hair not too much but it was there and then the other thing is that it, there is not enough parting space so you'll notice when I wear this wig that I won't be giving you guys real part action because if I do it will look crazy it will be like down into the wefts I think the weft is like right here so there's no ability to do any side parts or anything like that you can do a middle part but it's gonna be a short middle part they say that they have three to four inches of parting space I don't really think it's even four inches I think it's closer to three which nobody wants a little baby part but that's besides the point it was great for my experiment I'm still able to get the orange hair at an inexpensive price because $95 for a wig is not bad let's be real here it is not a bad price for a wig and especially with hair that is super quality hair and I even believe they do free shipping I can't remember but I'm almost positive they did free shipping so I mean you don't really have a lot to lose it's something quick if you want to try like color wig for the first time this is my first time having a color wig I didn't even have to pay the 350 that I would have had to pay because that's how much Kay Carter's orange wig was initially running for when she was selling it on her site so I saved myself money actually I didn't really save myself money but kind of because I paid 150 for this one and then 95 for this one that was restored destroyed so I mean I've lost 95 dollars and then possibly lost another 150 I should have just went with the initial buy but whatever uh, I learned a, a lot and now I still have my hair in the wig that I wanted I really like it I think I might add brown to it but that's not what this video is about I wanted to give you guys a quick review on ever beauty hair and I want to show you guys how I dyed the hair this color so let's get into the dyeing process really quickly and I'll catch you guys at the end excuse me um quick service interruption if you haven't already can you please just go ahead and click subscribe to my channel it will help me out so much I appreciate you and I love you Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Beside me, cause I want ya and I need ya and I'm down for you always. We're gonna use two bottles of Adore Sunset Orange and a half a bottle of Adore French Cognac. So just go ahead and mix up those two colors. I could have probably used a little bit more of the French Cognac just to get those true brown undertones that I was looking for. The hair is super bright. I may go back in and do some more with the French Cognac just to give it more of those brown undertones. But if you like it super bright, then just go ahead and use all of the Sunset Orange. And I just went ahead and mixed it up in my hair dye bowl. And I'm using my brush to go ahead and evenly apply that color all throughout my hair once I go ahead and Get that all applied throughout the hair evenly I will be sure to go through and comb it through just to make sure that the color is on every single strand of hair and you'll see me go ahead and start to comb through the hair and as I comb through the hair you will notice that there are sometimes little spots that could use some more colors so I'll go ahead and add more color as I need to and continue to comb through the entire wig to ensure that we are getting that same even color all throughout the wig.
Now this last part is not extremely necessary, but I went ahead and put some heat on the hair. I put it in a plastic bag and stuck it in my hot head and I let it sit for about five minutes just to ensure that the color was gonna truly be there. I later realized that that was not even necessary, but that's all, that's how I achieved the color, super quick and easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content from me, Jordan Ari. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.